Hello and welcome to the final lesson in the first set of tutorials on using Alice. This time we will learn how to make a method. Remember that a method is basically just a way to make an object do something. In other words, it's a set of instructions. We can demonstrate this by opening up a method. Drag the jump method into our instruction box. Now double click on the left hand side and this will open up the method in a new tab and show you all the instructions that are involved in doing that one method. So this one method is actually a bunch of smaller methods joined together. In a way, this is similar to the loop in that it saves you time having to put all of those instructions in every time you want the man to jump. Instead, you just put in one and you're done. Not only does it save time, it makes your instructions easier to read, move around and change. Let's also have a look at the sit cross legged instructions and instead of dragging it in you can also click on the edit button to see what's inside. What happens if you decide you want to make the man sit then jump? Imagine trying to move all the jump instructions below the sit instructions one at a time making sure you keep them in the same order. There's a good chance you're going to make a mistake. Making methods is a great way to keep everything organized and neat and tidy. So let's remove all these methods now and we're going to create our own. Click on the Aboriginal man and scroll down his methods until you see the create new method button. Click it and you'll be asked to name your method. Now this may sound obvious but naming your methods in a way that tells you what they do is very important. We'll call ours kick. Click OK and a new tab will open up in your instructions window called Aboriginal man kick. This is where you'll put all the instructions that you want to happen in the method. We want our man to kick, so let's put some instructions in there to make him do just that. Select his right leg and we're going to turn it backward a quarter of a revolution. Right click the left hand side of the instruction and click make copy and an identical instruction appears underneath it. And now change backwards to forward and press play. Oh dear, it didn't work. This error message is saying that our kick method was not actually called by anything. What does that mean? Well if you look in the window above you will see a blue instruction saying when the world starts do my first method. This is actually the first instruction Alice does when it plays your video. So let's have a look in the world my first method tab. Well you can see there's nothing in there so your video is not going to do anything as there are no instructions in there. So drag the kick method into there and press play to see what happens. There we go. We've created a method, a very simple one but nonetheless that's all you have to do. You can make them as complicated as you like and if you find that you're doing the same thing over and over then you should make it into a method to save yourself time and keep things neat and tidy. We will make one more method that brings together everything we have learned so far throughout all the lessons. Let's make a new method and we'll call it fly. Okay, turn his right arm left 0 0.2 of a revolution. Turn his left arm right 0 0.2 of a revolution as well. Press play and see what happens. Oops, don't forget you need to put the fly method in world my first method box. Good. Now let's turn his left arm backwards. 0 0.2 and we'll make a copy and do it forwards as well. Let's see how that looks. That didn't work. Let's try reversing the forwards and backwards. 
Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's better. Now let's do the same for his right arm. Good. Now all we want to do is put all of those instructions in a do together box. Now let's see how this looks. Weird. He didn't do anything. How come? Does anyone have any guesses? Well, what would happen if you lifted your arms up and down at the exact same time? You're asking Alice to raise his arms at the same time as he lowers them, so they don't move. So each arm needs to be put in a do in order box within the do together. We also want him to flap his arms over and over. What do we need? That's right, a loop. Let's put all this in a loop. We'll do it three times. That looks painful. What's gone wrong here? Well, he's still turning his arms left and right in the loop and we only want this to happen once, so we should move that above the loop and put it in a do together box. Better. Finally, we need him to actually fly. So every time he flaps his arms, move him up, 0.5 of a meter. Put that instruction within the do together within the loop and I think we'll be done. One flying aboriginal man. If you ever want him to get him to do that again in another video, it'll be just one instruction. A great time saver. I hope you enjoyed the videos, and if you want to learn more, feel free to move on to our intermediate lessons. Happy programming!